We got a bucket full of the creepiest, weirdest, strangest invertebrates we could find at the store, and we got them all. And boy, do we have some weird ones, including things I've never seen before. Let's unbox them and add them to the pond. So we're not gonna be adding anything from this batch of uh, invertebrates to the new pond, because I'm letting that thing cycle, letting it get all of, you know, letting the filter run, and letting it get nice and good. So we should probably be adding fish relatively soon, just to get it even, just to get that bio, you know, going, get that filter nice and good before we can add a bunch of stuff into that pond in the garage. So very soon, we're gonna be doing that. As we're getting into our first little invertebrate here, get, gotta give a quick shout out to Fish Guy Flash. He is a new member on the channel. So if you guys do wanna become members on the channel for extra videos and some shout outs, go click down below in the description, become a member. It's only two bucks, you guys can click it and join and you get some extra videos. So let's get into our first bag here. Bag number one, I don't even know. I get so much stuff, I don't even know which is which, Brooke. Which one should I start with? So first thing we're gonna start with is this insanely creepy starfish because I've never seen one before like this because, because of the amount of legs it has on it. It's got like way more legs than usual. Look at that. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. And this starfish in here that we've had before, this guy only has five legs. Five legs on this starfish. There you go, buddy. So this starfish has, what did I say, eight legs? It looks kind of like a spider. Look at that. That is an eight-legged starfish right there. How weird is that? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he's kind of growing another one on this one. It's kind of got two in there. Got like a little wart. So eight legs on this starfish. Super, super cool. Got a like a deep maroon color, but I never seen this starfish before. Has eight legs. I wonder if there's any other starfish that have an abnormal amount of legs. Uh, drop them down in the comments if you know a starfish that has like a hundred legs. That would be pretty cool to get. But this guy has eight and that is absolutely fantastic. Look at his things coming out. <laughs> he's ready to go in the pond for sure. That is one really strange, very creepy looking. Looks like a spider starfish right there. Very, very interessant. So let's go ahead and get this guy in the pond. This is gonna be, we're gonna name him the spider, spider starfish. He is so weird looking. Let's get our new spider starfish in the pond here. And uh, I'm gonna set him down just right on the sand and see where he wants to go. Actually, let's check him out through the glass here. Check him out through the glass. That is just a weird one. Let's see if he wants to stick onto the glass. Let's hold him there for a second and see if he wants to just get nice and cozy. I think he's already, yep, there he is. Already stuck on the glass and ready to hang out in his new aquarium. Look at that thing, that thing is crazy looking. So weird. I love him though. Shout out to our new spider starfish right there. He's an absolute beauty. All right, bag number two. I think we have a total of five bags. So we, we did good today, but because there was such weird stuff at the store, that's why we did so well, because you know, Anytime there's weird stuff, I like to get it for you guys. Next up is a classic creepy critter that we have gotten a ton in the past, but we've never gotten one for this pond. And I think one would look really, really good in this pond, having one of these creepy guys in there. And it is gonna be a giant arrow crab who is an absolute beast of an arrow crab. That is a hoss. The guy at the store named him Harvey. So we're gonna name our arrow crab Harvey here because uh, he just looks like a Harvey. Harvey the arrow crab. Let's see him in the sunlight. So let's get this creepy guy who's probably gonna run out of my hand because these guys surprisingly are as quick as lightning. And once again, sticking on the theme, this guy looks like a spider as well. Look at that. Look at that, <laughs> look at that little crab. He's got really cool blue claws there. I don't know if you guys can see them, but very, very cool blue purple claws on the end of his little uh, his little long legs there. So let's get him in here for now. Look at that weird crab. That is such a cool crab. One of the weirdest creatures. When I first laid eyes on an, on an arrow crab, when I was first starting out in the fish hobby and I first saw an arrow crab, I could not believe that it was a real life creature. Like this thing is alive. I just could not believe that that thing was actually living and real. And it's just crazy because they are one of the creepiest, really, really, really cool creatures in the entire world. That is one cool little guy here. All right, let's get our arrow crab Harvey in the pond still amazes me. We're just gonna let him float right down to the bottom, see where he wants to go. I'm trying to put him on this rock, actually. Look at that thing, that thing is so weird. The thing is so weird. And sorry guys if the water is a little bit cloudier than usual, um, because I just did a water change on this guy. So it kind of mucked everything up. And check out the fish, they're all swimming around. We got Pinky over there, we got our firefish, we got our big star, we got our clown over there, and the lobster's in here somewhere. And I will feed these guys at the end of the video. I'm gonna get a nice big cup of food, dump it in, so you guys can see how all the fish have been eating. Now as we're getting to our next bag, remember to that you guys can save 10% off your order at any time by using code FishGuyChris at shopfishguy.com. So if you guys wanna go get yourself some cool fish guy gear, remember to always use code FishGuyChris 
to save 10% off your order. It's a classic. Let's get into our next bag, which is gonna be one of our more chill bags because you guys have seen these before, but I don't think I've gotten this specific one. And this guy is a really cool white and purple sea urchin right there. And I just love sea urchins. I don't think we've gotten one. I'm not sure if we've gotten one for this pond yet. I can't remember. But this guy is gonna be the first sea urchin to the collection we currently have right now. And the reason why I liked this guy is because he was white and purple. Look at that. That is so cool. White and purple. Usually they're just all purple. So these guys actually have white little horns, which is a lot cooler in my opinion than the all purple ones. Very, very, very cool looking creature right there. So let's get our new urchin in the pond. He's super bright. He is super bright, which I absolutely love. Instead of just being purple, we're getting a little white in the pond as well. Let's get him on top of this rock so he can just clash with that purple rock and he'll just look amazing in there. Look at that. Our brand new sea urchin is going in the pond and he is super cool. Bright white colors, I absolutely love that. There he is, chilling in the current with his little clownfish friend in the back there. Super cool, absolutely love that. And honestly, my favorite so far is this guy right here, who's still on the glass, but he's kind of climbing upwards. Look at him, such a weird starfish. I'm actually really happy I've, I saw him at the store because I have never seen an eight-legged starfish and he's just super cool, absolutely love him. Now it's hard to see also right now in the pond because the shade is still over it, but as you can see, the sun is inching towards the uh, the water here. So you should be getting a really nice view of the pond in a couple minutes. So hopefully by the time this video is over, when I'm feeding the fish, you guys can see them in all their glory. Next up, we have one of the weirdest shrimp I have seen. I actually never had one of these guys. They're called a gargantuan shrimp, Brook. I don't know what they're called. I forget the name. I was reading it at the store. It said like a, G, it was like a word with a G and then shrimp, but also kind of looks just like a pistol shrimp. So I'm not too sure, but it's definitely different. Check this guy out. I'm not sure if he'll pinch me. He is really cool. He's got some cool, yeah, it's like a pistol shrimp kind of. Definitely different. I've never seen one with this color, color scheme. Look at that. He's got like red, orange, and purple with uh, that big claw. So he looks just like a pistol, pistol shrimp. Maybe I'm tripping, but I'm definitely gonna try to hold him, obviously. You guys know I love it. You guys know I love getting attacked by my wildlife. I got pinched by that purple lobster last time, which he got me good. So now let's see if this guy wants to pinch me. I'm like Steve Irwin up in here. I'm the fish guy, Steve Irwin. So let's see if we can hold him or if he wants to get feisty. He is so cool. Look at that shrimp, dude. Insane colors on him. Purple, orange, yellow on the uh, actual tentacles. Oh, I see a little pink in there as well. Very cool shrimp. Oh! He's got, he's got some energy, huh? He didn't want to pinch me though, which was good. So that's at least an A plus start. He's on my good list. He did not want to pinch me. So I'm applauding him. So let's get him in the pond and hopefully he doesn't jump out of my hand. So I'm going to hold him tight just like this. And then let's get him nice and gently into the pond. Look at that guy. So weird. Very interesting shrimp. He's probably going to jump right out of my hand. Oh, he wants to chill. Look at that. So cool, dude. He's going to pinch me now. Look at that. He's chilling on my hand. That's so cool. Let's try to move him down by the sea urchin so he can hang out with his friend. He's literally on my thumb. He's literally on my thumb. That's so sick. <laughs> that is so sick. Come on, go in there. There you go, buddy. There you go. Perfect. Right next to the sea urchin. That's epic. So cool. So he's a, a type of shrimp. I'm not sure exactly. I forget the name. It started with a G. I want to say gargantuan shrimp, but that doesn't make any sense, does it? Comment down below exactly the name. I literally just read it. I'm having a blonde moment. Shout out to all my blonde fish guys out there or in fish girls. I'm having a, bl a blonde moment. I forgot the name. Totally forgot, but he is one cool looking shrimp right there. To be honest, I'm just so happy with my fire fish. I don't know if you guys can see them right now in the uh, in the window? No, you guys can see him from up top. I'm just, I love that high archie firefish, whatever his name is. That thing is my favorite fish in here. I don't know what it is. I need to get more of those. They actually had another one at the store, $150. And I was like, I can't, I can't spend another $150. I'll definitely get some more of the purple and pink ones and then we can have a big school. But that guy's the king of this tank. I just absolutely love that firefish. Now the next bag is something I haven't ever seen before as well. And he is so cool. I had to get him. I had to get him. It was between this and an actual fish. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get this crab because I have never seen him before ever. Now this guy is called a staghorn crab. And look at that. It just looks like a literal rock. But there's a crab inside of this thing. And I think it's a piece of coral. And uh, the crab li lives inside of it and I saw him cruising around the bottom of the tank and I was like this guy's a must-have a must-have so look at this first of all let's just look at it right here look at that that just looks like a stick right that just looks like a stick look at this little stick right but right underneath here right there that little dot on the bottom of him that little white dot on the top there next to that top horn that's the crab that is the crab living in there and that's his claw actually and you will see him pop his head out if we can uh, get him to come out of the water in the pond but that is what he looks like there he is there he is look at him coming out look at that 
That's our little crab there. Look at that guy. That thing is so wickedly cool. That thing is so cool. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he is crawling around my hand like crazy now, now that he's in the water and kind of on my hand. That thing is wild. That thing is wild. He lives in this little weird looking rock. That is so crazy how he fits in there. So this will grow as he grows and he is just so, he's just wickedly cool. That's a little guy. We definitely need a name for him down in the comments. Drop a really cute coral name for this guy because he's a little coral crab. So let's get him in the pond. Let's get him in just like this, holding the top of his little hand here. And let's actually put him on the pink rock to see if he wants to just crawl around for a second. So let's just drop him right here and let's see where he wants to go. That thing is so cool, dude. I love him. I love him. We definitely need a cool name for him. Look at that weird shell, dude. Let's see. The shell kind of is like a W, right? It's like a W or like a giant anchor for him. That's what it looks like to me. So maybe we can name him Anchor or name him Wiley for the W that he's carrying around on his back. That is one of the coolest, weirdest crabs I've ever seen. It looks already like he's going to work on that rock, eating something. So, oh, there's a hermit crab past him right on the bottom there, who's just wants probably to check him out, hang out with him. That is one weird looking crab. Actually, you know what it kind of looks like? Kind of looks like a big Texas hat, like the ones in the cartoons from SpongeBob or something. Like big old, I was gonna say. big old Texas hat. So maybe we'll call him Texas because of that damn hat he's got on. Yeah, that's how they talk in Texas. Now, as you guys can see, the sun's coming through a little bit now. Now the sun's going down a little bit, so you guys can actually see into the pond. About half the pond is lit up with the sun, but it looks so much better in the sunlight versus the shade. Am I right? I mean, just look how much better that rock looks than over here. Over here, it looks dull and scary and over here looks bright and happy but check out what i've been feeding them i've been feeding them their pellets but i like to get them soft first so i go like this you know for the firefish i like soft pellets then some mices that is the ultimate food right here they know i'm feeding them look at the look at the texas crab look at the texas crab crawling on the bottom he's looking for food he's foraging so let's jump uh let's drop these guys in and see who wants to eat and they're all really good eaters i'm trying to put it in the sun i usually feed them right in the middle but i'm trying to put the food in the sun so you guys can see the fish come out we got the fox face and the firefish and everything and i think that mr texas Texas crab is gonna go absolutely crazy on that. Once they uh, once they realize that we're friends, they'll come out. Here comes the fox face. Here comes the clown. Here comes the pinky. All chilling, eating their food. There's two firefish are over here. Once they smell it, they're gonna come darting out. Let's pour some more in. And I mix it with the pellets so the pellets float down same as well. And the pellets usually sink really nice. So that means all the hermit crabs and Mr. Texas and the lobster and everything can all come out and eat the pellets that fall to the bottom, which is just fantastic. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the man, the myth. The man, the myth, the legend. He's eating the ones that are that are floating away, floating on by. All the firefish like to hang out in the current because they like to eat the ones that are floating past him. So he's crushing that mysis right there. Going ham on that mysis. But I wish he was, I wish the whole pond was up in, up in the sun. You know, once, next time I'll show this pond, I'm going to wait till kind of the end of the day and we'll sh look at the pond with the sun because it looks just so much better when the sunlight's here versus uh, it being in the shade. I'll have to tell you. But all the fish are doing fantastic in here. Everyone's eating real good. Drop names for all the creatures down below. Mr. Texas is having a field day on those pellets because all the pellets landed on top of them. And I think that's what we're going to name him. We're going to just name him Texas. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. Shout out to Texas and I'll see you guys in the next video.